St. Vincent Paloti. Twenty first April, seventeen ninety five. It was the anniversary of the founding of Rome. Vincent Paloti was born to Pietro and Magdalena de Rossi Paloti. It was this child, this little child, who would grow to be an amazing priest and work towards helping the poor and the outcasts. And this was clearly evident from his youth. When somebody asked for help, he wouldn't refrain from giving them what he had. The child Vincent would often return home without his coat and shoes and shivering in the cold. Vincent used to instruct his friends in catechism and pray the rosary with him. He used to sleep on the floor after he had given away his bed. With this virtue, he earned himself the name, the Little Saint. The pious little Vincent was dull in studies. The teachers thought that it was a pity that such a pious child would be so dim. He attended a novena to the Holy Spirit. From the next day onwards, the dim little Vincent became the brightest kid in class to the extent that it amazed even the teachers. The church bells were ringing and it was a special day for Vincent Paloti. It was 16th May 1818. He was ordained a priest after many years of wanting to become one. He joined the Third Order of St. Francis. He wrote, O oh God, my God, I do not understand it. What does it mean to present the holy bloodless sacrifice and to administer the sacraments? Soon after his ordination, he devoted much of his time to helping the poor and the outcasts. Vincent Paloti was a busy priest. He was a preacher, a seminary professor, an exorcist and a spiritual director to most Roman seminarians. Given this busy schedule, he still found time in helping those who were suffering and hungry. It was a gloomy day. Lucia Fabani was lying on her deathbed. Her husband called for Vincent Paloti to administer the last sacrament. She was in a pathetic situation. Vincent Paloti prayed for her and after a few words of encouragement, he left. Soon after, she shouted to her husband, I am healthy. Vincent Paloti had truly performed a miracle by the power of God. Winston Paloti founded the Society of the Catholic Apostolate in 1835, aimed at helping the poor, the sick and the needy. It was a small community of priests and brothers. Winston Paloti wanted even the laity to be involved in the church activities. He knew that this would help them get closer to God. He thus established the Union Catholic Apostolate on 9th January 1835. The congregation got an approval from Pope Gregory XVI. He wrote, The Catholic Apostolate, that is, the Universal Apostolate, which is common to all classes of people, consists in doing all that one must and can do for the great glory of God and for one's own salvation and that of one's neighbor. It was 1837. The cholera plague was taking the lives of many. Paloti and his followers were on the front line, risking their lives day by day and helping the disease-stricken. January 14, 1850 Vincent offered the Mass at the convent of Santa Trinita dei Monti. Two days later, he was taken ill to James Salvati's house. He was diagnosed with pleurisy. The chest pain that it caused was unbearable, but Paloti tried his best to be lively and energetic. 22nd January 1850. It was Vincent Paloti's last day on earth. He received his last rites, lying on his deathbed. He said, Do you know what a beautiful feast there is tomorrow? It is the wedding feast of the Mother of God, and there will be great joy in heaven tomorrow. His spiritual sons tried convincing him to stay longer in this life since he had cured so many. But he said, My God, my God, please, Please let me go to wherever God wills. He breathed his last, aged 54, half an hour after he received the sacramental absolution. 20th January 1963 
Pope John XXIII canonized Vincent Pallotti. He was declared the patron saint of the Pontifical Missionary Union of Clergy. His feast is celebrated every year on 22nd January, the day he died. St. Vincent Pallotti's body is incorrupt to this day. He was a great priest, working for the poor and the underprivileged. Pallotti was the confessor of many prisoners who were sentenced to death. He was their last recourse. St. Vincent Pallotti, pray for us.